Welcome to FL Studio Mobile. This tutorial will take you through the basics of making a complete track. So let's start on the Projects tab with the New Projects button, and we'll go to the Tracks tab. The default screen on the Tracks tab is the Step Sequencer, and that's all about programming percussion. You can select it with the Step Sequencer button up here. Alternatively, the Track Editor button shows the instrument and tracks we're recording into. We're using the Step Track, and let's program in some percussion. This is a quick way to get a beat going. Snare, hi-hat. I'll tap the hi-hat channel to open some more controls. Let's edit the step velocity. Cool. And there's also pitch. Okay. Now we have a one bar beat. Let's duplicate it. If we go back to the track editor screen, you can see we have a one bar beat. By tapping on the plus button, we can add more bars. There was a plus button on the step sequencer too. Now we can select the bar editor button and tap on our beat to select it. Then duplicate it with the repeat button down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's add a bass track. Select the existing piano type instrument track, Harmless, and make sure you're in the track editor mode. Now you may have noticed that when we're on the step type instrument, this tab says drum pads. And here's our drum pads, used by the step sequencer. You can record playing here too if you want. If we go back to the tracks tab and select the piano type instrument, the tab changes to say keyboard. And here's our keyboard. I want to play a bass track, so I'll need to go an octave lower. And you can scroll your keyboard up and down by dragging here. Or you can use a pinch gesture to contract or expand it. To select a bass for my piano track, I'll go to the Instruments tab, currently on Harmless One Lead. The Preview button is a great way to test instruments. I'm in the Synth category. There are several categories down the left. I'll scroll down to the Synth Bass section. Cool, I like the electro square and I'll use that. Okay, so the next thing to do is to record it and I'll go back to the keyboard. Remember, on the tracks tab we have eight bars. So on the keyboard tab, I'll hit record and after a four bit count in, I'll record the bass. Ah, problem, it's too low, but no worries. You can always undo actions anywhere you see the undo button. I'll move up an octave and try again. Great, so we have four bars of bass recorded. As you can see on the tracks tab, but there was another problem. My timing sucks, so I'll fix that in the piano roll. You can pinch and drag up here to see all the notes. I can select all the notes by dragging on the screen. But a quicker way is to double tap here. Now quantize them by tapping here, and that will put them on the beat. I'll use 1 8 notes, and I'm going to quantize the lengths. OK, let's listen. Ah, much better, but I don't want this note here, so swipe to select it and hit the Erase button. And there we're done. Let's go back to the Edit Track screen and duplicate our 4 bar bass. Select our tracks and duplicate that. Great. Now we need to add a new piano type track. Select the Edit Track tab, and by tapping on the Add Step or Piano, you can add a beat or melodic type instrument track. So I'll tap Piano. I don't want Electro Square, I want a lead sound. So I'll tap the Instruments tab and preview some options. Looking up in the Lead category. I 
I'll go with Poison Noise Organ. Let's check the octave. A little higher, I think. Okay, here we go. Press record. Back to the tracks tab to quantize that. Here's the noise organ. Double tap to go to the piano roll. Pinch to see all the notes and double tap to select all. I'll quantize those again with one eighth notes. Hmm. Now the quantizing's too long, so I'll undo, quantize again with the quantize note lengths off. Okay, simple. Let's duplicate that on the bar editor tab. We're almost done, but I want to show you how to mute tracks and why not replace my awesome percussion track with an even more awesome one. Make sure you're on the track editor page and then you can select tracks by tapping on them and tap mute. I'll mute the percussion. So let's add in some new percussion. I'll go to the Projects tab, Drum Loops, and there are a range of pre-made tracks ready to preview. I'll use Basic Break. Double tap on it to add it to the project. Back to the Tracks tab and there it is. To the Bar Editor mode and duplicate it. So finally, let's look at adding some effects to track. Notice on the bass track, effects is showing. Make sure you're in the track editor mode and you can select the track and tap effects to turn them on and off for each track. Let's pick the noise organ and turn the effects on. Go to the effects tab and I'll pick filter. Okay, to record that, tap on the keyboard tab where there's a record button and start the recording. Quickly swap back to the effects filter tab and tweak. So we've recorded some automation. So that's the basics of making a song with FL Studio Mobile. Let's save the song from the projects tab. I'll just go up a level and tap in the text entry area and name your project. And it's saved. So that's it. Don't forget to check out the demos for more ideas on how a project can be made. Until next time, enjoy using FL Studio Mobile.